been working in emergencies for more than 15 years. I have never seen an emergency this large. 15.4 million people are affected and nearly 7.5 million very severely affected. WHO estimates that 3.5 million children are at serious risk of waterborne disease. And just as an example, the, the health unit I visited just a half an hour ago um, had 950 patients. 80% of them were there with diarrhea, um, acute watery diarrhea. So the situation for health, the situation for nutrition is, is quite severe. Um, we have over 5,000 schools that are still occupied um, and that will be occupied for some time. Um, nearly 5,000 as well that are destroyed or partly damaged. Health centers, nearly the same number, slightly smaller, but still very, very significant. It's hard to understand the scale of this emergency. Uh, we now know that the area that is flooded is equivalent to half the size of Norway, or since you're in Switzerland, as the Secretary General had said, it's this combined size of Switzerland, Austria, and Belgium that is underwater. There are amazing expanses of water that, as far as the eye can see, yesterday in a helicopter and thinned, and today coming here to Mazafraga, um, driving through water, uh, people living on the roadside, people living um, anywhere they can. In a flyover, I saw that there are still some people who had refused to move from both Punjab and Sindh, but particularly in Sindh. Um, and those people still need evacuation and food um, in their locations. They, they're waving from their roofs. They're trying to, to get attention to those who, who, who could possibly give them support. So UNICEF had originally asked for $47 million. We now estimate that we need at least $141 million to, to deal with the numbers that we're, we're trying to handle. Today, as I was traveling, it was about 35 degrees Celsius. The conditions are absolutely perfect for malaria, for acute watery diarrhea, and potentially for cholera. Pakistan is a country that is endemic, um, and therefore we, we need to expect that. So the situation is as grim as any I've seen. Um, it is likely to get worse. We urgently, therefore, need um, funding. And, and not pledges, but actual cash in the bank. Um, we urgently need all agencies, UNICEF, um, the World Food, for example, is already feeding, feeding uh, one million people, but that's a fraction of what's needed. UNICEF is providing water to 1.5 million people, a fraction of what's needed. So we all need to scale up, and we need funds to do that. Um, we need a long-term commitment. Um, this is not something that will end in two months or in three months. Um, and we need both the international community, the international agencies, the NGOs, and perhaps most importantly, the Pakistan people, who have been incredibly generous and, and supportive, to continue that support for the next many, many months.